everyone. Today I'm going to do a very quick video on the new e.l.f. Opposites Attract. I just So I just got this and I would like to do a look tomorrow. So today I'm just going to do swatches because I want to get this up for anyone who's interested. It is still available. This is $14. It's vegan, cruelty free. It's a cool and warm palette from e.l.f. Comes in. I'm going to guess it's going to be on the shelf like this. There's a little. Yes. And it says... This 18 pan eyeshadow palette contains nine warm tone and nine cool tone shades with neutral and vibrant pops of color to achieve subtle or bold looks. This look, the Lux formula is smooth, creamy, blendable, ultra pigmented, create artistry level or everyday looks effortless, effortlessly with this perfectly arranged palette designed to inspire you. So yes. So we're going to go on to, I'm going to give you guys an overview of the palette and then do the swatches. So I haven't opened this yet, so let's see what it looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. Ignore the glare. But bag. <laughs> I'll make sure nothing was damaged, but I think it's pretty good. I like this color arrangement. So let me show you. You can see the reflection from outside. So I'm trying to. There we go. So the packaging feels pretty good. Like it doesn't feel like the lid's going to pop off. I mean, with cheaper palettes, usually that's something I think about. Um, but it feels fairly sturdy. And I think the packaging is good for the price point. Let's watch left to right like this. And I'll show you guys. Um, this is fresh. It's a very light peach, so it doesn't show up very well in my skin tone, to be honest. But that's fine. Then we have spicy. That one showed up well. That one's a little bit lackluster. They're usually really good with their mattes. It would be a good crease shade. It's not super pigmented. Then you have bold. I think that could be built up a little bit. Bold. Super pretty. These aren't really my favorite shades. I like the cool tones in this palette, but these still are very pretty. This one was a little bit crumbly. This is the shade Cheeky. I find that they go on a little crumbly, but you can blend it out pretty well. And I actually find that with their other matte palettes, too. And we have Happy, which is this really pretty mustard shade. Try not to get the orange in there. Happy. I think that would be a nice crease shade. For me at least. Then we have Saucy. Saucy. Daring. The shimmers actually look really good. Then we have warm, which is a warm tone brown. Now it's a wee bit patchy. I always have issues with dark browns for some reason. That is the first half of the palette. So we're going to go on to the second half. Half. So we're going to go left to right, left to right, left to right. And there. Okay. Low key. This one's very faint. It's probably going to be like a topper shade or an inner corner. We have Calm, which is a matte gray. I have no matte grays in my collection. I have no grays in my collection. I 
that one. Then we have Clever, which is a really pretty gray purple shade. Then we have Witty, which is a medium toned cool brown. These definitely have to be built up. Like I said, this is like a complete first impression only by swatches. It looks like it'll need to be built up. Now I'm gonna look a little wee bit patchy. Then we have Smooth, which is a cool toned dark brown. I'm just trying to blend it out so you guys can see what it looks like blended. Then we have, then we have Chill, which I was most excited for, so doesn't look great in the swatch but I'm excited to try it I think I definitely have to use that one wet Easy going. Layer that up a bit. That's a matte purple. Remember, this is no bases or anything. This is the color Wise. This is a pretty green. Nor am I weird swatching. I don't have anything like that either. And last is Genuine, which it looks like a really dark charcoaly gray. Almost. Those are the cool tones. It's really what I expect from a $14 palette. I'd have to try these on my eyes to see how they actually perform. So those are the shades. I would say the warms, unfortunately, perform better than the cools. And I was looking forward to the cool tones. So we'll see how this performs, if it's something I keep in my collection. But... I hope it performs well because I really like those cool shades. And that's it. That's my quick overview slash swatches of the e.l.f. Opposites Tract. And I will film a tutorial for you guys tomorrow using the cool tones because I've already seen people use the warm tones. So I think it will be more beneficial if you guys see this half. And I'll probably, depending on how I like it, I'll do more looks with this palette. I bought a tripod that can go on my desk. So, well... It's an attachment, but it can hold up my camera, so I'm going to hope it works. So that's it, and I'll see you guys later.